Hi, Terry again, and welcome back to the second webcast in our short series on how to get started training on rightlobemath.com. In this video, we're going to introduce a second training module, Mental Calculation. We have put together a comprehensive mental training program that is completely integrated with our Sotoban training. The approach to mental training is to teach students to visualize processing numbers in their head simply by forming a mental image of the abacus. So there will be no difference between moving beads on a physical abacus versus a mental abacus. The science of visualization is quite simple. First students work with the physical abacus and over a short period of time they begin to form images of the same bead movements in their head. As students work through our abacus math program they will first complete a Sotoban level and then begin practice visualizing these same movements in the mental training program. Training in both Sotoban and mental calculation in parallel has proven to achieve the fastest learning results. As a student advances to higher Sotoban levels, it turns out that the mental training is needed to build sufficient speed as they process larger and larger numbers. We have spent years developing a highly effective mental training program. With your $29 a year subscription, you have complete access to all of our mental training program. We think we have put together a uniquely integrated math program proven to work with just a little dedication and consistent practice. There are no tricks or special strategies to help students perform mental calculation. Learning to visualize calculations our students will build a significant mental math skill they will use for the rest of their lives. Our mental training program utilizes science by engaging multiple senses such as touch, sight, and hearing for efficient deep learning. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rightlobemath.com mental training program and how to get started on it. Okay, now that we have logged back into rightlobemath.com, we're at our uh, main practice page. And here on the main practice page, we're going to jump into the mental calculation module. And as I mentioned in the previous video, um, the uh, Sotoban training and mental calculation training uh, will go hand in hand where users will work across both of these modules um, simultaneously as they work through the program. So once I've completed uh, the Beetle level of uh, Sotoban training, I then have access to the Beetle level of mental calculation training. And the reason for that is, is we want students to first practice uh, the movements physically on on the abacus because this will help them uh, begin forming mental images of those movements before attempting to practice uh, them in mental calculation. And this structure uh, will uh, continue all the way through the program uh, uh, throughout the higher levels. So students can um, work in parallel across both of these uh, training modules. So here you see we have three modes of mental training which is Anzan, which is a Q&A format, and Flash and Audible which are sequential formats. So let's go ahead and jump into Anzan and like always first we will train before we practice and so in this case um, as usual we have a short training video that we will watch and um, this video will show us a few sample problems and additionally here we have two uh, visual training tools uh, the first one is number to bead where uh, in this tool when we click start uh, a user will be shown a number in the white box and then they are to represent that number on the abacus and uh, this really uh, helps students um, work on uh, forming their their mental images uh, as they see numbers so it starts off simply with the number three I put in a three on the abacus and check it 
and then it asks for a seven, I place a seven, and then I check it. And so I think you get the idea. So I'll go ahead and stop this, and then we can um, also do this visual training in the reverse with the bead to number tool. This time when I click start, it will show me the number uh, on the abacus, and then I type the number in the white box. So there's the number five, and I hit enter to check it. And the number one, I hit enter to check it. And again, uh, students tried to get 10 in a row, and um, these, tool, these tools will, um, of course, uh, um, increase in challenge as users move through the levels. Uh, so um, they will present larger numbers um, at faster speeds. So now I've completed my, uh, my Anzan training and I'm ready to practice. So I click the practice button and here um, again students are not to use their physical abacus but to do all calculations in their head. Um, but I'm going to show uh, an abacus uh, anyway just for reference uh, so we have some idea of what the bead movements would be. So let's go ahead. So here in this first problem we put 8 on our mental abacus and then we subtract 1 for a final answer of 7. And in the second problem we add 5 and then we add two more for another answer of seven. So again, um, we are measuring both speed and accuracy um, for each problem as the student works through the problem set. And then when they complete the problem set, as usual, they're brought to uh, their results page where they see a summary of um, uh, what they did. Uh, in addition, I also want to point out that in the responses section here, they will also be able to see their response time on a per problem basis. And that's an interesting data point because they'll be able to see over time how their speed is increasing. So I'll go back to the, the practice page here and let's go ahead and take a look at flash training. So in flash training, um, I'm just going to jump straight into uh, the practice UI since um, I think we, we know how to train. So again, I'm going to click start and I will show my abacus uh, just for reference. So here's a two, then I add five, then I add one more for a final answer of eight. So as you can see, it shows the numbers sequentially, so the user has to process each number uh, with just a given amount of time. And there I have a final answer of one. So uh, this um, uh, flash format will challenge users to, to really um, move at a uh, a certain pace of processing individual numbers. So we go back to the results page and again um, we can see uh, a summary of, of how we did. So going back to the practice page for the, the final form which is audibles and again I'll go ahead and just jump into okay. the, uh, the quiz module and here for audibles, because the numbers are going to be read to us sequentially, um, by default we read the numbers in English, but users can choose from a number of other languages um, if they uh, um, learn their numbers in, in, in a different language. So again, I'm just going to click start. I put seven on my abacus. Minus six. Subtract six. Three. And add three for a final answer of four. Six. Six on my abacus. One. Add one. Minus five. 
and subtract 5 for a final answer of 2. So as you can see, again, um, we are training students in um, several different ways so that uh, we can help to really speed their, uh, their ability to, to um, build their, their mental calculation skills. And as normal, um, after taking the quiz, I'm brought to my uh, results page. And now we can go back to our practice page. And again, just a reminder that uh, the program requires students to pass three quizzes uh, for, for each mode of mental training before advancing to, uh, to the next level. Okay, so there you have uh, the rightlobemath.com mental training program. Uh, we hope that you will have the same success that uh, many of our users have had and continue to have. We think that the program is very comprehensive and with a little dedication and practice, uh, you will find the same results. We'd like to see you come back and see uh, our video on tools and much more that we have to offer on rightlobemath.com. So again, thank you for your time and uh, see you next time.